What's up guys, I'm finally back, situated at home. Got the truck in Colorado and I wanted to give you guys a full actual walk around of basically where it's at right now and what my plans are for it. So if you didn't follow along, I just went to Houston and back this last weekend. Literally left Saturday morning at 1 a.m. Got to Houston around 5.30 Texas time and then drove back Sunday, left at 1 a.m. and got back about 7.30 towing this home. I still need to pick up the Cherokee to do the actual swap with this. I'll explain that in a second, but let's take a look at what we're working with. Hope you guys aren't going to enjoy this because I'm ready for a new build and I'm super pumped about this. Plus, it's nice to have a Jeep again. So, long story short, the way I came across this was one of our buddies, Hunter, he bought a new engine and it came with this truck. My brother ended up getting the truck from him and then my brother was finally like, look man, I need to finish this build. Will you take it on? So I naturally wanted to take on a project, especially like this, because it's a bare bones project. I said yes, and I picked it up. So that's the, that's the story on how it came to be, how it came to be acquired. And again, let's take a little bit deeper look into it. It's Now I'm not entirely sure what year this was originally. I do know it is an 80s Comanche. I have to look into it a little bit more, see what years they made them. I don't think they made them into the 90s or late 90s anyways. But essentially, what we're going to do or what I'm going to do. Hold on, let me take a step back. So right now, this is literally a cab. This is from a late models 90s Cherokee, which I'm going to do the front end conversion and late 90s interior conversion on. It's got the original bed. And then the best thing about this is the actual shape of it. As you guys know, or may or may not know, these aren't full framed trucks. They're essentially a half rear frame into a unibody front end, which is kind of weird and interesting, but that's just how they did it. It's like I said, a crossbreed between a truck and a Cherokee. So as you can see, the overall shape of it's really good. No rust, everything's been primered, painted, and basically ready to go. But it is scratch. No nuts, no bolts, no nothing. I mean, you got a couple things here and there, but we're talking straight up from scratch, folks. My brother did have someone help weld in some stuff over here to kind of do the later 90s conversion, which has to be done for the interior. But again, um, there's a lot more work that still needs to be done. I do have the front grill and everything, but everything else I need to get is on a Cherokee, which is still in Houston, I need to get. So basically what I'm gonna do is I have this, and then we have a late models Cherokee that I gotta go pick up. It's running and driving, it doesn't have a title, this has a title, and I'm going to convert everything from the Cherokee over to this. Now obviously there's gonna be some things that don't match up and don't work, so there's gonna be some figuring of stuff out to say the least, but, Again, that's part of the big project, and I'm looking forward to that. So here is what I do have right now. It's sitting on 35s for reference. Obviously not up front. We needed to tow it, and I have to have adapters to put the JK wheels on it, and I don't have them right now. It's got the tailgate in the back. It is spring over axle. I'm going to be swapping this out. Now, I don't want to get too crazy at first. I want to get it running and driving and everything converted over first before I get into the nuts and bolts of a big project. What I don't want to get into is have like a huge wish list of parts and stuff and it never gets finished or it takes years. I want to get it working and go from there. That's where I'm at with it. But digressing, I do want to do Ford Explorer 8.8 in the back, get it some disc brakes. I don't even think this has brakes. Now I'm looking at that axle. Yeah, there's no brakes in there. So I will not be trading over the rear axle from the Cherokee. I don't think I'm going to be doing an 8.8 .8 conversion on the rear of this. And uh, most likely just find one with an LSD, match up the front and rear, go from there, and then do lockers once I figure out what gearing I want to run after I just basically see how it works out. So that's what I got going on in the back. Um, tailgate. So back here, it's a bunch of parts. I mean, there's all sorts of stuff back here. Got the hood from the late 90s Cherokee, all sorts of interior parts, line stuff. I'll, I'll drag all this stuff out later on for everyone to see and kind of just see where I'm at. I mean, everything from a speedometer and everything 
But again, I want to have the other rig over here first because once I have them side by side, it's going to be so much easier. I do have the root glass for it. I'm going to try and install that myself. I think that'll be a lot easier. I do have to pick up front windshield. I don't know if it's going to be too difficult to take it off the other Cherokee and add it on here or just get original glass or new glass and start from there. So I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with that. The doors on it are from the newer Cherokee. Um, this locking point right here has the stud. It needs the hoop. Hopefully you guys understand what I'm talking about. So that's why these are just basically being held in place. They're not bolted on or anything like that. Got the front end right there. Some carpet. Gas tank, which I don't think is going to work. It's, I think that's a smaller gas tank than what it needs. And dash. I mean, just like I said, just a culmination of a bunch of parts that I will get out and show everyone what I have right now. But anyways, that is the truck as it sits right now. I'm pumped. This is going to be a really fun one. I'm not entirely sure what coils it has up front. What size coils? I think it's a six and a half or six inch. Obviously it does have the long arm. I got to finish putting on, but I was pretty excited to see that as well. And my brother kind of tossed it. So super pumped and feeling extremely fortunate to be able to take on this project. Oh, I didn't show the front axle. So it does have the high pinion for an axle, which I will be leaving in here. I'm planning on doing 35s, maybe 37s, but I really think 35s are just a great place to be, especially with the short wheelbase. So we'll see. I mean, if I do 37s, I'll, I'll beef these up a little bit. I'll beef them up anyways, but I think my starting point is going to be 35s. And that's that, everyone. I hope everyone is excited about this build as much as I am. Again, next video I'm going to do, I'm going to take out all the parts, see what we're working with, and I just kind of get a good game plan of just where I want to start with the truck and figure out what I want to do. Um, I'd like to get things kicked off before I get the Cherokee because I don't know exactly when I'm going to be able to pick that up. So I do want to get stuff progressing on this, especially with winter coming. <laughs> winter is coming. And uh, before the snow hits, I am going to try and get a Harbor Freight single car bay to kind of help out with this also because obviously working out here is going to suck, um, especially once October, November hits. It's just gonna get worse and worse. Once the snow starts falling here, it's really difficult to get things done. So again, I wanna get something kicked off. If you got ideas of places I should start, let me know. Um, I'm thinking to close in the cab first, obviously get a windshield on there, get the back window on there. Um, that way I have that done. But I don't know if I wanna start doing interior stuff first or last. I'm kinda of thinking last, do all the engine bay stuff, all the drive stand stuff and do the interior last because then, you know, I'll, I'll have the other truck here and be able to just convert everything over all at once. The biggest thing about these projects is all the small stuff, like missing bolts to put on the dash and trying to figure out what screws are needed, stuff like that. That's what's gonna take forever, all the little stuff. When you have two exact same vehicles and you're converting one thing over, it's so much simpler because you just do everything. But when you're doing something like this, it's the little stuff that really adds to time. So anyways, we'll see how it works out. I'm really pumped about it and uh, hope you guys are too. Let's get to it. Thanks again for following and I uh, hope to see you guys on the trail soon.